All right, what is up, guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media here with my first ever Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission video on this channel. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been super excited for this game to come out ever since it was first announced. And depending on how things go, this game could have a permanent place on this channel as far as regular content goes, which is also pretty exciting, at least to me. But you know what? That's enough talking. Let's jump right into it. Oh no. Don't do it, Trunks. Don't do it! This man is about to get wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you, Trunks. But there was no chance. Alright, here we go! This world is home to Dragon Ball characters who are venerated as heroes. The denizens of this world, blah blah blah, super Dragon Ball heroes. Most popular in a place known as Hero Town. Really, Bandai. <laughs> Very creative. Good job. Yo, let's get into some gameplay. <laughs> but of course, we have to start with a cutscene. So, guys, for this video, we're probably gonna do all, if not most, of the tutorial missions because I think most people that are watching this video right now probably have never played a Dragon Ball Heroes game or know much about this game overall. Um, same as me really because <laughs> I'll be straight up with you guys, I don't know much about how this game works at all, man. And it sounds kind of counterintuitive because I did say that I was super excited for it, right? Which I was and I still am, but I'm the kind of guy who if I'm really excited for a game or a movie or anything else, I usually try to stay away from any trailers or streams or any teasers, anything like that that could potentially spoil the story or gameplay or anything like that for me. So yeah, I didn't watch anything prior to this. I didn't read anything prior to this. So we're pretty much in the same boat. We're going to learn together and, uh, you know, just figure out what the F is going on. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I've never played before, but I love Dragon Ball. Yo, me and you both, man. We're in the exact same boat. Hold on, is that Gohan? Or just someone dressed as Saiyan Man? Alright, so for our name, we'll keep it pretty simple, pretty standard. All caps, of course. T I G E R done. Note cannot be changed one set. That's okay. I don't plan to change my name anytime soon. Um, <laughs> and for anybody that doesn't know, I get asked this a lot. Tiger is my real name in real life. That's my legal name. Like, that's what it says on my driver's license. So, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, it's the races. So we can change it later on too. Yo, this is gonna be tough. Because I do love all the races. I feel like Saiyan is the standard choice that most people are gonna go with, but I mean, I kind of want to change things up a little bit, you know? Maybe Majin or Frieza. Uh, possibly Android 2. You guys know how I feel about Android 18, so... 
Maybe to pay some respects to her. <laughs> you know what? Let's uh, hmm. What should we do, guys? This is tough. Female Saiyan, maybe? Supreme Kai. So they have different abilities. Um, freezes time. Oh, that's sick. Neutralizing enemy attacks. Stat growth is exceptional. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, max HP can grow to exceptional height. Skill that weakening opponents, then landing heavy damage. Hmm. Can unleash double attacks. That sounds pretty good too. I don't know. You know what? F it. We're gonna go Majin. We can change it anyways, right? <laughs> I love it. You can now use a hero avatar card avatar card in battle. Why was that so hard for me to read? Okay, let's go. Okay, so we got Krillin, Piccolo, Gohan, 1718, and Vegeta. And lastly, this yo. Let me guess. Let me guess. Goku. I'm a freaking prophet, guys. Freaking fortune teller. Make your way through story mode by completing circles that appear on the map. Some circles will have dialogue, battles, or mini games, or others will give you items. There are all sorts of different types. Sounds good. First official fight of this game. Let's go for it. I'm guessing it's just gonna be a tutorial thing, so. <laughs> Probably not gonna be too bad. The less power the opponent has, the more likely a capture module will succeed. See, I have no idea what that means. What's a capture module? Well, I kinda just signed up because it seemed like fun. I guess I should have studied more about how to fight. You know what? I wish I actually kind of like watched a tutorial video now or something before I started, but you know what? It's too late. It's too late. Let's just go with it. I'll start by putting everyone in the front line. Okay. Oh. We got this. Boom. You know what? I'm pretty sure that was guaranteed perfect. <laughs> but we're going to pretend that it wasn't. It was all skill. I'm just really good. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. You know what? I'm just gonna address this real quick. A lot of people are hating on the graphics for this game, and I understand. You know what? It does kind of look like PS2 graphics. Let's just be honest, but to be fair, I don't think it's that bad. Like, it's acceptable. And also, I've always been more of a gameplay over graphics kind of guy, so I mean, as long as the game is fun, which I think it will be, I actually don't mind the graphics too much. But that's just me, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you're playing this game right now, which race you started with. All right, let's go take this. <laughs> Such good script writing. I just noticed the chapter title. Chapter one, my thrilling first battle. Oh my God. That's brilliant. That's a sick helmet. Great Saiyan Man 3. Okay, okay. I'm a super Dragon Ball Heroes player like you. It's the master. He is such a dreamboat. Okay.
are they supposed to know what he looks like? He's wearing a helmet. Use this screen to set which cards are in your deck. Please set seven cards. What cards do I even have? Okay, so we have a total of seven cards. Not much option, really. <laughs> okay, well, let's go with Goku, you know, Piccolo, 17. Vegeta, Krillin, Gohan, 18. Done. Yo, where are my DLC cards? I swear I entered that code. Have you guys bought the uh, physical cop? Actually, no, I think the physical and digital versions all come with the DLC code for those 11 special cards. You know what? We'll figure it out later, though. We're still in the tutorial right now, so I guess it's not a big deal. Learn the basics of battle. Okay. During the prep phase, you choose which cards join in on the attack. Placing a card in the attack area allows that card to attack. That's the attack area. Got it. Pick three cards to attack and see how the fight goes. Okay. Uh, let's go over with our boy Goku here, of course, and uh, Vegeta. And I guess 17. Why not? A charge impact battle's been triggered. Yo, is that Super Saiyan 4 Broly? I need that in my life. How do I get him? How do I get him? <laughs> Whoever has more of their gauge or gauge field wins. It's a battle of precise timing. Here we go. Perfect again. Yo, guys, I'm so good. I'm pretty sure that was also guaranteed, but you know what? Like I said, we're gonna pretend it was all me. All me. Okay, so you do more damage when you win a charge impact. Makes sense. Enemy attack phase. Okay, seriously, like, am I just that good or is it guaranteed? Somebody tell me in the comments. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. First attack is determined by power level. So keep an eye on your power level as you arrange your cards. Uh, okay. Like, what, what is the, what does it matter which row you put them in? Whenever you move up one line, you'll use one bar of stamina to increase your power level. Oh! Okay, so the further up they are on the stage, the more power you have. I'm guessing it also costs something. Yeah, that one was definitely guaranteed. I'm not sure about the other ones, but that one definitely was intentionally perfect. Um, yo, maybe I'm just like really good at it. Who knows? I was joking before, but hey, you never know. Maybe I'm just like really good at timing. Here we go. Last run took a lot of your stamina. Your cards are looking pretty depleted. Even if they were make, keeping a wait, even if they were to keep fighting, I doubt it would make for a good battle. 
Uh, should I let my stamina stay too low? I shouldn't let my stamina stay too low. Enemy attacks will stun you more easily if your stamina is low. I see. Okay. So you can't just keep attacking. Um, when you attack, you use up stamina. And if you add a stamina, they can't attack anymore. That makes sense. Okay. So there's definitely an element of strategy there. Oh no, there's something really important I forgot to tell you. You can also take twice the damage from enemy attacks if the attack area attack area is empty. Oh. Okay, let's throw 18 back. Oh, so it is possible to not get it perfect. I think it's about time to unleash a super attack. Hero energy in order to use a super attack. Key to saving up your energy is your power level. Okay, so just increase your power level. And you'll get hero energy and then you'll launch super attacks. Something like that. Okay, so the stronger the super attack, the more hero energy it probably costs. That would make sense. You can unleash super attacks by winning charge impact battles. That means charge impact can determine the outcome of a match. Okay, let's go. Sweet. So far, so good, guys. Whoa. Dude, hold on. Yo, that has to be Trunks. That has to be Trunks. <laughs> I don't know if it was like obvious to everybody else except for me, but I'm pretty sure I figured it out. I'm pretty sure that's Trunks. Alright, so the real question now is how do we summon? <laughs> you guys know I'm a huge gacha player. Um, Dokkan, you know, Dragon Ball Legends a little bit, Bleach Brave Souls, all that stuff. So 
I need a summon, guys. That's what I really care about. Like, I love the gameplay. It's fine. It's great, but I need a, I, I need to feed that summoning addiction right now. Where do we go, guys? Where do we go to summon? Wait. Kang? That's Nappa. <laughs> what? That's just Nappa in a suit. Wait, didn't you say you were a beginner? Yes, I am. You should at least go and learn the basics from Lulu. Okay, I'm gonna guess Lulu is this little robot here. Pleasure to meet you. If you can manage to complete my missions, I'll reward you handsomely. This will take you to tutorial missions. Are you sure you want to go there? Okay, let's do it. Now you'll need to complete five different missions. In this first one, I'll teach you about the three different battle types. Okay, let's do it, guys. We'll finish all five missions, and then we'll call it a video. Learn about the three different battle types. Each card has its own type. Let's use the Hero, Elite, and Berserker types. All of these have co-op effects. Hero types are well-balanced fighters with strong defense. They can finish battles in truly heroic style, and their ease of use makes them great for beginners. So it looks like red cards are hero cards. Okay. Co-op attack. And a perfect or miracle perfect will net you a co-op bonus. Oh, I see. So you just get a boost to your power level if you use the same types. Okay, I got it. Hero types don't lose as much stamina from enemy attacks, making them harder to stun. They're great all-around fighters, good luck in the next round. Elite types, stamina-oriented fighters. Fighters specializing in stamina-based attacks. Keep an eye out on your, your and your opponent's stamina while you fight. Okay, so blue cards are elite types. Incredible! You got another perfect! With enough stamina recovery, you can use cards as attackers for a long time.
Berserker types, damage oriented fighters, powerful attackers that reduce enemy HP. These fighters tend to have low GRD guard, though making them susceptible to stun. Okay. Are you a tactical genius? That's another perfect. <laughs> My god. Destroy your opponent's hero energy. Oh, okay. Destroy your opponent's hero energy so they can so they can't use a super attack. Awesome, so there are three types, Hero, Elite, and Berserker, and they all do different things. That's pretty much all I got from this. <laughs> it's going to take some time actually playing real games, I think, to um, really get the hang of it. Got an item, Normal Warrior's Power Boost. In this mission, I'll teach you about the four different types of abilities. Adult Gotenks? I think the third card is Adult Gotenks. Awesome. First up, we have Attack. Activates an attack area. Place the card with an arrow on it into the attack area. Vegeta. You've activated ability effects, check them out under the ability effects menu. Enemy team can also activate abilities, so be sure to take a look. Next up, abilities to activate when you place cards in the support area. Okay. Place the card with an arrow on it into the support area. Stamina recovery. Uh, Alright, that covers support area abilities. Okay. Link. Aim Link Line at a character in your support area, then activate. Line up your next card so that the line coming from it completes the line from the card with the arrow on it. Oh, interesting, okay. Go! 
Now that you're in round 3, ability has activated. Some abilities activate automatically once they're ready. Be sure to read them. Holy crap, 35k. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Boom. Ah, so close. Plus 1000 damage dealt. Oh, that's awesome. Super burning Kamehameha. Oh, that's dope too. Two down, three to go. Please now activate once certain conditions have been met, like when you're an attacker after a certain round. Depending on the ability, the round it activates. In may vary though, make sure to check the effect carefully. Transform in this battle. Oh, awesome! So Goku's gonna go Super Saiyan? <laughs> Unleash the CAA Transform. Move the left stick, left stick to power up. Okay. Yo, that's actually hard. What the? What the? F How do we get to max? Yo, that's actually really tough, guys. What the heck? There are lots of action ability. Abilities besides Transform 2, there's Lock On, Fusion, Z, Burst, and Sparking. Okay. Tutorial number four, guys. Yo, is that Super Saiyan 3 Vegito? That is awesome. Yo, let me use him. Let me use him. Um, I'll explain touch action abilities. Please activate by touching the screen and performing special swiping motions. Try using the TAA super energy in this fight. Okay. Yes, it's Vegito. Okay, that's sick. Oh, so close. 
So close to perfect. Unleash the TAA Super Energy. Select the card you want to use the ability for, then move the energy ball. Repeat this action as much as you can within the time limit. Charge up your key, form it into a key blast, and then hit the enemy. Okay. Oh, just repping his ball? Pause. <laughs> Swipe the screen or use the left stick to hit the enemy. Let's go! Okay, I need Super Saiyan 3 Vegito in my life too. That is glorious. Yo, Krillin, what did you do? <laughs> this man acting like he put in all the work. Hey, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. In this fight, I'll explain ultimate units. Ultimate units use hero energy to unleash a wide variety of attacks. Add a specific card to your deck and build hero energy to use it. There are a ton of tons of effects. Okay. When all the members of a unit are together at the start of a round and you have the required amount of hero energy, these abilities activate automatically. Prior using the Limit Breaker unit to start out, that unit's energy can be used after you've built up 3 hero energy. Not sure exactly what that means, but sounds good. Oh! Piccolo! How could you do that to your own son? Ultimate unit chance. You've got an ultimate unit chance. Hurry and gather all your unit members together. Uh, okay. Who's the leader? No? Him? Oh, he's the leader, okay. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Is it just Vegeta? We're just fighting Vegeta? Oh my god. Rip Vegeta. Perfect! No, I definitely missed that. I definitely missed that, but it's okay. They gave it to me. <laughs> Times 10 warp Kamehameha. Oh! Oh! Beautiful. That's awesome. That's so good. Oh my god. You know what? The graphics aren't the best, but these effects are top tier. I don't care what anybody says, man. I really like these, these like super attack effects. As promised, here's your handsome reward. 
Can we finally summon now? Can we summon? Is that like a ticket? Or... Oh, it's a robot. Oh, we get to name the robot. Uh... Huh. You know what? The stage flew to the channel. We're gonna name this little guy... Uppercut. So, you know, I'm Tiger. He's Uppercut. Together, we're Tiger Uppercut. There we go. Easy. Cannot be changed one set. You know what? I'm good. That's fine. Now you can use modules in battle. Modules activate special powerful effects in battle. There are a ton of different effects to choose from, so find some that suit your playstyle to give yourself an edge in battle. You can earn new battle modules by playing missions, so find... Okay, am I the only one that's bothered by the fact that they don't capitalize the S after the first exclamation mark? Come on, Bandai, are you for real? I demand uh, whatever summoning currency times 300. <laughs> that's in this game. I don't know what it is, but I demand some kind of compensation for that. So find some that suit your playstyle to give yourself an edge in battle. Okay, that's it. So there's the rest of the story, obviously, and also a lot of other modes and mini games we gotta explore, but as far as today's video goes, we're gonna end it off there, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got a fairly good idea of how this game works. I gotta say, I'm already loving it. I'm already enjoying the crap out of this game. I'm definitely gonna play a lot of it. If you guys enjoyed this video and are excited for that future um, Heroes content, then definitely smash that subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now and stay tuned for future greatness and also if you guys like the video then make sure to like the damn video but that's pretty much all i gotta say guys i'm loving this game it's a lot of fun and uh, i can't wait to play more but that's it hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm out of here i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>